E3 is a little over a week out, and I've got to tell you, I am absolutely pumped for it. This will be my first time attending E3, and today we're going to be talking about the top five things I'm looking forward to seeing at E3. The first thing I'm interested in seeing from Arcade 1UP is some new cabinet styles and game types. Things like a racing cabinet with a steering wheel. Since Arcade 1UP brought a pole position cabinet to show off at last year's E3, it seems pretty odd that we haven't seen more news or information about this cabinet style being released. Also, cabinets that feature something like a flight joystick or a yoke for aerial games such as Star Wars and Tron, well these would be amazing additions to see and definitely add some versatility and gameplay options that we are currently being offered. And one big thing I wouldn't be shocked to see at this year's E3 from Arcade 1UP would be the inclusion and announcement of pinball machines. The company has said various times throughout different interviews that they want to be an all-encompassing product provider for a game room and not just a small cabinet maker. This has been made evident with them branching out into marquee signs, plushes, light up character signs, wall cades, counter cades, and cocktail cabinets. So the only piece missing from this equation seems to be pinball. And since the overseas manufacturer that currently builds their arcade cabinets already dabbles in making pinball machines, well I'd say it's probably bound to happen sooner or later. I'm also going to be heading over to the New Wave Toys booth and checking out what they've got in store for E3. See yes, they tease some amazing little cabinets and I can't wait to see them firsthand, up close and personal this year at E3. New Wave Toys had an amazing showing from CES this year where they showed off a USB battery charging station made to look like the original arcade change machines. A dedicated Asteroids cabinet was also proudly on display, and it looks great. With it, they also revealed that they'd be releasing an amazing Street Fighter II cabinet that also includes a separate mini fight pad included that allows for two-player head-to-head action. These 12-inch mini cabinets are absolutely breathtaking in person. I personally reviewed the Tempest Arcade cabinet from New Wave Toys on this channel before, and I can't say enough about how amazing the details on these machines are. Not to be outdone, they also revealed that they'd be releasing a Dragon Slayer cabinet. Recently on their social media, they showed off that it would also be coming with a secondary LCD scoreboard, mimicking the original one that came on the original Dragon Slayer arcade cabinet. Additionally, they have also teased the shape of another unannounced cabinet as well. Though most hardcore arcade fans will recognize this as the Missile Command arcade cabinet, I am definitely excited to see all these in person and any more titles that they might have up their sleeves. In keeping with the arcade theme, I'm also going to try to find the At Games booth and find out what they've got in store. They tease more announcements for their Arcade Game Legends arcade cabinet at E3. Unfortunately, I can't find them listed anywhere on the show floor as far as the vendor listing. This may be an example of trying to find a needle in a haystack, but if I can find them, I'm definitely going to try to get more information out on this cabinet. At Games has a bit of a rocky reputation in the gaming community currently. They appear to be looking to right past wrongs with their Arcade Legends cabinets, boasting hundreds of games and a selection of arcade classic games from licensors like Atari, ColecoVision, Data East, and more. Announced titles like Asteroids, Burger Time, Centipede, Fighter's History, Pong, and Tetris are just some of the great gaming titles that have been announced so far for these cabinets. It will be interesting to see if they have this unit on display at the show, as I myself would like to see and know more about the gameplay quality as well as the craftsmanship of this machine. And with Microsoft stating that their plans this year for E3 are going to be as big as ever in the wake of Sony not showing up to E3 for the first time in 25 years, they absolutely need to take full advantage of this and definitely bring their A-game to the show. Microsoft will have all eyes on them this year as they are rumored to be unveiling to the public their next generation console, currently being labeled as Project Scarlet. An announcement of this new console for 2020 will surely get Xbox diehard fans in overdrive. Microsoft has a proud history of big reveals at E3 and hopefully this year is no different. And not to be outdone our video game legends Nintendo themselves. Quite frankly, it's not an E3 without an amazing update from Nintendo, and I can't wait to see what they've got in store. We've already seen some amazing reveals from Nintendo, games like Luigi's Mansion 3, and the remake of Zelda Link's Awakening. I've personally got my fingers crossed that we see more details and gameplay info on both of these games, and some release date information would also be pretty amazing to see as well. And of course, Super Mario Maker 2 will be out in full force as it's just weeks away from its official release date. I'm especially looking forward to getting to play this game a little bit early, and I'd like to see what all it has to offer as I thoroughly enjoyed the first one. 
That does it for this video. Guys, let me know in the comments down below what you're most excited to see at E3. Also, what are some of the surprises you think are in store for all of us? And if you're going to be at E3, make sure you come stop by and say hey, because I'd love to meet some of you guys. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.